Hey everybody. So I build lots of dashboards like the one above here in Excel and um, people often see these and they just go, whoa, that's way too advanced. I could never do that. And kind of the funny thing is that most people have like 95% of the skills they need to do this already. This is like standard Excel features. There's no plugins or custom coding or anything fancy like that. It's just using pivot charts, metrics, slicers in kind of a maybe a creative way that people might not have thought of using them before. Um, but the underlying skills are actually pretty straightforward. Um, so if you know how to use pivot charts, if you know how to do that kind of stuff already, you're in a really good place to start getting your data ready to start building something like that. The visual design part of it, though, is the part that I think scares people off sometimes. But there's this thing about Excel that people don't realize, and that's that Excel has like 90% of the same visual design features that you would use in PowerPoint. This is something that people just don't realize. So Excel has layers like this. Your background layer, your farthest layer back is your cell grid layout. And then on top of that, you have your charts, your shapes, everything layered, even images or icons to start to create a design. So most people are familiar with this in PowerPoint, right? You uh, insert a shape, insert an image, you have to move something forward or back, and then you stack those things together to start creating designs. Well, if you just start doing the same thing in Excel, you can start creating cool visual effects like this pretty easily. If you can build it in PowerPoint, there is a really good chance that you can also build it in Excel. Um, all the features are just under the Insert tab under Shapes, uh, or in this case under Illustrations, where you'll see pictures, shapes, icons, even 3D models. You want to drop a 3D model of a T-Rex in there, you can totally do it. It's an option in Excel. Um, but it's worth going and playing with this stuff. I think the easiest way to learn this stuff is just by getting like a sample file and deconstructing it, start pulling it apart, seeing how each thing is styled and just kind of figuring out where there might be holes in the knowledge that you already have. Um, if you want one of those, I have a newsletter that's linked in my profile where I send out free templates like that, like this, just to get people started. Um, so you can check that out if you want, or just Google like Excel dashboard templates and find one you like, and then just start pulling it apart so you understand how it's built. And you'll be able to start doing this way faster than you would expect. Like it's, it is much easier than you might expect. Anyway, thanks so much everybody. Hope that was helpful. Um, I'd love to see what kind of Excel stuff you guys are working on too. So message me if you want, or uh, if you want to ping me on LinkedIn, I do a lot of stuff over on LinkedIn as well. You can just search for uh, Josh Cottrell Excel or something like that. I'm sure I'll show up. All right, see ya.